Hey, good morning, good morning. Sorry, I'm a little bit late. The 804 Daily Dose. Should we make it the 804? Good morning to you. Good morning, happy Saturday. Welcome in the backyard, back on the home front. Hope you're doing awesome. Hope you've had an amazing week. Uh, if you come on here, let me know that you're here. Give me a little thumbs up, a little like, a little hello, a little wave. Come on, maybe I'll even have, a, a, have you come in and join me sometime for a Daily Dose and we'll share. Today we're talking about uh, gratitude and uh, really want to know how your gratitude meter is. Uh, it's something that I think, you know, Saturday gratitude. I've been doing this the last couple of Saturdays. And man, I don't know about you, but if you can start your day off just being grateful. I know there's so many things that that we can probably be not so grateful for. Lots of turmoil, lots of just disappointment, lots of anger. I mean, I see that everywhere. I know the world is in a, a state and I think we get so attracted to, despite it being really not very healthy for us, is we get attracted to all of the the doom and gloom and destruction and I don't honestly know why it's kind of like it makes me think of when you're in a car like you're in a car going on a trip with your family and there's a car accident and you're driving and you're kind of angry because now the traffic slowed up but then you can't help like no matter how bad the accident you can't help but want to look you know you don't want to look and see like a dead body but you want to like you're just tempted to and maybe that's just our human nature is we're tempted to look at the things that aren't really maybe so good for us to see why some of the shows i even catch myself watching shows that are kind of dark and i think why am i watching this right now it's kind of crazy but that's not really what i want to talk to you about this is the daily dose this is episode number 62 my name is mark Evans. i on a side note am a online fitness coach. I've been in the fitness and health industry for the past 25 years. I run an online premium coaching program that's specifically designed for busy moms and dads over 40. I'm very grateful for the opportunity that I can have um, in the lives of others to help change them, change the direction that they're on so that they cannot just get weight off. Because the last thing, if you've been on trying to lose weight, <laughs> aren't you tired of it? Well, clients that come into my program, not only do they become untired, they get out of that whole mode and then they learn how to not be in weight loss mode. And I don't know if that sounds appealing to you. If it is, reach out to me and we'll hop on a call. We'll see if you're a good fit for my program. But again, this is not what that's about. Just wanted to let you know, who the heck am I? Why should you be listening to me? Thank you. Hey, Carl, good morning to you. Good morning. So um, how is your gratitude meter? And then, you know, one of the things, um, I don't, I just have to be completely honest with you. Because I spend, you think, well, you spend so much time online and lives and stuff, you must have all, you must be knowing what's going on and, you know, people that are getting, you know, killed and, and how COVID is and all this stuff. And honestly, to be honest, I don't watch the news. I don't really pay attention to it. I really focus on what I can focus on. And I focus on my business. The last two days I've been in Zoom meetings like 16 hours. I think it was over 16 hours. I got another one today. Um, focusing on what I know I can focus on. I know I can focus on my career path. I know I can focus on my family, my relationship with my wife, my kids, and the things that I can do, right? So it's, unfortunately, that re really kind of puts me out of blindness almost to it. But I will say is I do know that a lot of people are hurting right now. I know um, that a lot of people have been hurting for a long time regarding, and I don't ever usually get into like world stuff going on and I just share, share as why today as far as your gratitude meter. For me, I'm really grateful that I grew up in a family. My parents, you see the color of my skin, you know, you see it hasn't changed. Um, and I know that there's there's a, a f being fortunate and not as fortunate when you, you are raised and you're born a different color skin. I know that's hard. I just wanna say why I'm grateful as a white man. I'm very grateful, uh, and I didn't get to pick it. I'm very grateful that I was raised by parents who taught me to love others. Like, that's it. Didn't, didn't teach me to love others because of what they looked like. Didn't teach me to love others because of what color their skin was. Didn't teach me to, like, to love others because of how much money they made. Didn't teach me to love others because they were nice to me or not nice to me or that. I really, you know, I would say today my gratitude meter went up. Like it just went up big time. In fact, yesterday I got to speak in front of about 120 people. It was a Zoom meeting, right? It was kind of crazy and it was a little bit surreal. And I realized there was people from like 14 different countries online at the same time, all different nationalities, races and stuff. And we were all together combined. And I was so grateful for that. But the other thing is I know in the world we live in is that we all have 
biased, right? We all have a bit of racism, if you will. Don't get me wrong. I don't even know. Like, I couldn't tell you what it look, what it would be like to live in a different color skin. I know it's not easy. And this is not my point to share with you my opinion about what's going on in the world and, you know, be angry at cops or not or about this or that. I'm just really grateful for it. And I want to tell this to the everybody. I don't care what color your skin is. I don't care how much money you make. I don't care how fit you are or fat you are. I don't care how old you are, how young you are. Well, we know there's pretty much nobody under 30 that's on Facebook, right? But I want to just share this and really like, oh, I just want to maybe open eyes up to the possibilities of starting with gratitude, boosting your gratitude meter. Now, maybe you weren't the type of person that grew up in a family who taught you to love others. And I'll tell you what was one of the easiest things when I came to came into my faith about 10 years ago, my relationship with God, it was where God teaches you to love others. In fact, the Bible says, Bible says he commands us to love each other as he loves us. And I really like, even though I had great parents who taught me to love others regardless, until I really fathomed how much that love really, really means human beings. I don't care where you're at, what you look like, human beings. A really an understanding how much God loves you. And I mentioned this earlier in the, in my early uh, sunrise this morning is, um, is that God loves you so much. And not only does he love us, that he commands us to love others. And he, he's commanding us to love others as he's loving us and loves us. Check this out. The Bible also says there is no fear in love, but perfect fear or sorry, perfect love drives out fear because fear has to do with punishment. The one who fears is not made perfect in love. Check this out. This one, I think, I want to get like maybe a tattoo. We love because he first loved us. Check that out. Like, that's powerful. Now, listen, I know in the fitness world, I know there's a big barrier to cross for people when they come into wanting to get healthy. They want to lo lose weight is there's a bit of love that has to come with that, is loving yourself enough to care about yourself. And regardless of what color skin you are or what, regardless of what you look like in the mirror, I mentioned this before and I'm gonna mention it again, is know that you're so valuable, valuable enough that God came onto this earth. I mentioned it earlier is God came into this earth as a human and he went to the cross, like Jesus went to the cross for you. And that's how much love that he has for you. Check that, I mean, that is crazy. And again, whether I don't know where you're at in your faith, and honestly, that's not my point, is to steer you into some religion or spiritual um, it, you know, enlightenment or anything like that. My, my encouragement to you is just to have gratitude. Is even if you didn't maybe grow up like I did with parents who taught you how to just love others, I'm so grateful for that because this was kind of an easy transition because the God just encourages you to love others. And that's something that truly is amazing. Hey, Jessica. Hey, Matt. Appreciate you for being on here. So listen, uh, grateful and gratitude. How is your gratitude meter? Listen, if today, if, can you imagine, can you imagine even if 10% of the population maybe don't feel like there's anything to be grateful for? Their lives are a mess. Their world is a mess. Maybe they're angry. Maybe they're angry at the world, they're angry in their circumstances, they're angry at others, they're angry at the government, they're angry at their business, they're angry at their family, they're angry at their spouse, they're angry with themselves. Is just to think for a moment that you are awake right now. You are alive right now. If you're watching this, you woke up this morning. Maybe you didn't get to see the sunrise like I did. Maybe you don't feel like there's much to be grateful for. But I can tell you this is one of the things um, that I want to be as encouraging as I can to you. Encouraging to you if you're struggling with your health. Encouraging to you if you're struggling with your finances, or your family and your relationships, your workplace. You're, you're, you're struggling with people online. You're struggling with the government. You're struggling with the police. You're struggling with different people of ethnicities. Is that look to God for the gratitude. Maybe you don't feel like there's just so much to be grateful for anymore. And I want to encourage you that there's a lot to be grateful for. And sometimes that gratitude has to come from deep within inside of you in order for you to be grateful for others around you. Because it's, it's, hard, it's hard to look up and, and look at God and understand God wants us to be 
grateful and to appreciate what he's provided for us, the blessings of giving us another day, it's hard to be up there looking at what his, his path is for your life and looking down at all of the things that are discouraging, are filling you with hatred, are hardening your heart, are causing you to be angry with others, are causing you to, to say things, to spew things out of your, mo your mouth. The crazy thing, and it's something that I have to work on, and uh, you know, it's, it's, it's hard. Um, I get angry with others. I get mad. I wanna say things. I wanna post my frustration. I wanna post how I can't believe this is happening or I can't believe that is happening. But it doesn't satisfy anything. There isn't any fruit that comes out of it. Instead, what I wanna do is use what I'm grateful for. Go to God with the things that I'm struggling with. Go to others. For me, it's other believers, other men and women in their faith, my family, my spouse, and to share with them the things that I struggle with and to look to God to really help guide me. So my encouragement to you is if your meter, your gratitude meter is low right now, maybe you're, you're not grateful because you've been sitting around on your butt for the last 12 weeks and this coronavirus puts you 20, 30 pounds overweight and you're already 20 pounds over 30 pounds overweight going into the lockdown and now you're like it's like magnifying it's doubled you know your body is like going to like completely in the wrong direction fast and you're getting older time is going by we're almost half the year into 2020 and at the end of the day you got to take action you have to take a step forward now i don't know with your finances and relationships i'm not a relationship doctor i'm not a fa financial person you know as far as your workplace i don't know about that either but i do know when it comes to your personal health if you're stuck if you're struggling if you're finding having a hard time looking at that light down the road seeing like i don't see there's any kind of future for my health i don't see me ever being able to get the weight off i don't see myself ever getting in better shape I don't see that there's any possible way. Mark, I've tried everything else. I've tried all the diets. I've tried. I keep failing and I'm just, I'm giving up. And I don't, there's nothing to be grateful for about that. I'm going to tell you, if you don't, if your meter of gratitude is not there yet, I want to be that person. You see, I've put my entire life, my entire life into not just encouraging, not just motivating, but putting people on the right path to not just getting a little weight off and working out a little bit and wanting that flat stomach, but literally changing lives. And I know it's weird, it's like, oh, you like, you think you're God? Not at all. But I know I changed lives because I've seen it happen. And God's blessed me and I'm very grateful for the skill set that he's given me, for the environment that he's put me around, for the direction and the path that he's led me down so that I'm able to do it. It didn't happen overnight, just as your weight's not gonna come off overnight, just as your finances aren't gonna change overnight, just as your relationships aren't gonna change overnight, just as your opinions of others aren't gonna change overnight, but they do have the ability to change. That's the most important thing. And you can, if your meter, think about it, if your meter is like right here right now and your gratitude meter is here and you need to go here, you have to take steps in order for that to happen, whether it be your health, your finances, that. So I wanna encourage you now, if your meter sucks, if it's like down, and if you need to start moving it in the right direction, if you need help with your health, send me a link or send me a, a post. I'll put a link down below. We can hop on a call. Hey, I'm just a regular guy. I'm a dad. I got family. This is my backyard. I'm sitting in one of my, my backyard chairs here, and I am making the effort. I'm putting it out there. I'm taking the step forward. The next step is for you to take that step forward. Now, mind you, if you're in a good place, kill it. Like if things are great and you're, grat you're grateful for everything and life is going well, I'm so excited for you. But even if you're doing really, really well, there's a chance that somebody in your world is not. And they may need the help of a coach, of a health and fitness coach, somebody with experience, somebody with the background who can put you or maybe your friend or your family member on the right path. And I'll tell you what, I'm done ranting. I want to encourage you today to be grateful. Grateful even if it's just that you woke up this morning, that you have another chance to change, to improve, to get better. That's what every day is about. And even if... Maybe right now the world is like throwing bombs at you and left and right and disappointments is to know that you can choose to duck them and move 
And sometimes that just requires looking up at God and asking him to help guide you around those and through those. So listen, that's all I have for today, The Daily Dose. Like it, love it, thumbs up. If you don't like it, that's cool. You don't have to watch it. You don't have to come on here anymore. You can, of course, the beautiful thing about social media is you can choose who you follow, who you don't. If this is encouraging to you, please do me a favor and just down here. In fact, one of the other things, if you don't want to miss one of my lives, you can also put in to um, receive notifications. If you've seen that come up, you can say, I want to put him on because I want to hear what he has to say next. It's not always the daily dose. The next one will be probably about fitness, about maybe nutrition, about accountability. Those are the things that typically most people need help with. And that's what I'm good at. Take care. God bless. We'll see you. Have an amazing blessed Saturday. We'll see you.